Uh, in the end, you'll be sorry that you didn't act quickly. Uh, look, I don't think I can afford that premium. It's just too much. Uh, no, it's really not that much. It's only $5 a day. You can handle that, can't you? No, let me think about it and get back to you. Do you think the prospect eventually gave that salesman the business? If you're thinking no right now, you're absolutely right. What did the salesman do wrong? Could he have cashed this objection instead of wasting his time? First, let's discuss what objections really are. Objections are very valuable in letting you know what your prospect is thinking. They also provide valuable information on whether you are satisfying your prospect's needs. You see, a lot of salespeople are much too talkative. They don't listen enough, so they never really know what the prospect's needs or desires are. They spend all their time telling the prospect what they got and how important it is to the prospect, even though they don't know what the prospect needed in the first place. <laughs> Here are a few points to remember when cashing an objection. Number one, have you got rapport? Are you voice matching? Are you using the other subliminal selling skills you've heard about in this program? Number two, you must know your prospect's outcome for the meeting. You must know what he or she really wants from you. Number three, listen well enough to gain information about the prospect's needs. Number four, match the product benefits to your prospect's needs. Not just list benefits, but give your prospect exactly the benefits he needs to understand why the product is important to him.